morning all. So I mentioned in yesterday's video, quad. Yeah. Looks so small on camera. Yeah, it's in a bit of a state, but it was in the village. Can you believe it? The day I leave, a quad comes for sale in our village. So I just had to get it, you know. But it is most definitely a project, again. So, this is a bit of a punt. Um, yeah, I just love to buy broken shit, apparently. But, yeah, it was too intriguing to pass up on, basically. In the village, cheap. Very, very cheap. Now, obviously, that's a waste of money if I can't fix it. But I'm fairly confident that I can fix it one way or another. So, half the engine's hanging off. It's down here in boxes, um, just the two sides. Basically, the story with it is the guy bought it and it had no drive. The engine ran, he said it ran fine, but it had no drive. It's a shaft drive, I believe. Yeah. Um, but he checked the clutch and stuff because he thought it might be that and wasn't that and then I think he realised that it was probably the um, the bevel gear where it goes from spinning this way to spinning this way because obviously the take off on these engines is on the side and then you got to get it this direction so it's probably that gearbox I don't, I'm not an expert on quads by any stretch, but I will be by the end of this. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he realised it was that, tried to get the back off by the looks of it. Yeah, it has started to come apart where he's tried to get into it. And then I think he realised that it was just too much of a job. Um, I think you have to take the engine out, probably, to get that piece off. Although it is a China quad. Um, I did manage to find you can get parts for it which is good news and that entire gearbox is 150 euros so yeah this should just ruining the audio again we'll be able to order it and then we've got you know a pretty substantial quad it's 250 with that gearbox it'll be less than 400 quid for the whole lot which considering I've been looking for a quad for nearly two years bear in mind and I've struggled to find anything for under about 1500 quid that's not an utter piece of shit or completely blown up normally for something like this in working condition you know ready to go with a winch and a plow on it you two and a half grand so yeah, if I can get it fixed, it's a bargain, but it's a big if. <laughs> so, yeah, both side cases are off, it's not ideal. So, the first job is going to be the jigsaw puzzle of organising other people's mess and trying to figure out how it goes back together. He did conveniently do it on right and left side though, which is useful make my job a little bit easier but it's still going to be interesting right everyone I got it all back together <laughs> yeah just on that side of the engine this is all together as well and uh, yeah we had all of the bolts minus one which I will have I need to go get one so yeah 
I think from what he was saying, the issue is in here. He's tried to pull this off by the looks of it and not done a good job. But what I want to do is get the engine started and running, or see if it's going to start. That's step one, because that'll make me happy. And if I know that it works, then I can put the time into dealing with this area. But I needed to get it all back together so that I could, you know, take it apart then myself and have a mental map where everything goes. But it went back together pretty straightforward. Everything's back on. I assume that's the forward and reverse gear thing. Um, it's got a normal gear lever down here, which is funny. This is a Chinese 250 engine. I used to have a bike, I think, with this exact engine. So. <laughs> It's like seeing an old friend, although it was a piece of shit and it broke down all the time. So I'm going to get some oil in it and then see if we've got a spark. Because we do have a pull start, which is handy. Um, yeah, see if it's sparking, if it is, sling some petrol in it and uh, see what happens, pretty much. Connected it up on this battery turns over and we have a spark, which is half the battle. So, slip a little bit of juice in it. This isn't too straight by the way, in case you were wondering. Let's see if there's life in the old girl. Nothing pissing out. I think it's on reserve. Let's check that we've actually got fuel coming out the bottom of the carb. Oh, we do. Okay. It's looking promising, that means the float isn't stuck. Oh, we'll get lucky. Why is that just. Oh. Good old Chinese electrics, the keys are a little bit faulty. We've got choke. It shouldn't go anywhere. I hope. Throttle's definitely not sticking. Try a bit more choke. Oh yes! Oh, that's good. See, this is why you got to trust me with things. I did trust you. Now we just got to fix whatever's going on there. So you can't get it to drive then? But yeah, but it's fine now because whatever that problem is, I can fix it. Yeah, because the engine's But hard. I just needed to know that it actually ran okay. Yeah. Oh man, come in out the rain. 
Right everyone, cracked it <laughs> already. Uh, where's it gone? So, yeah, the engine's fine, and the drive unit on the side that sends the power backwards through the shaft is fine. Goes through the gears, goes into reverse, it's all good. All that's happened is this UJ that goes on the drive shaft goes at the front and this goes on the engine. This is quite funny. There's this bolt that holds it on and that had fell off. And obviously this has then come loose and it's stripped the splines out of the inside of this, I think. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to just have them at the end. Although, looking at this, potentially, They may just supposed to be at the end. I don't know, they just sound a bit weird, but in other words, it's problem solved. This is it. So I can try and get a new one of these. I'm going to have a look. Because um, that will be the proper way to do it. And it will literally be just put this on, put the bolt on, and then it's fixed and it'll work. So I'm going to have a look now. I'm going to have a fiddle with it clean this up and see if it has actually stripped all the teeth out or if they if they are just supposed to be at the end yeah. see how good the grip is with the bolt because it it might just be a case of putting that bolt back on and it's fixed which will be insane but yeah okay what I've done is put the UJ on, managed to get, I took the washer off, got a new bolt, or oh, nut, and then, well that's connected to the engine, so that's good, um, this is going to work, I don't know how long for though, Took the washer off so the UJ slipped further over onto the spline so it's got a better grip. And we'll see, see what happens. It probably won't last very long, I don't know. But if and when it fails, well, I'll probably just order one of those UJ forks anyway, because it's like 20 quid. But it's going to take ages to get it, and I'm impatient and I want to see it drive today, obviously. So now we're going to test it. I said I know that it's going to work because I know that it's now connected to the engine. Yeah. But how long it's going to last, I don't have the answer to that. Yeah. Because you could be driving along and then it just stops. Yeah. Yeah. But we've got like seven vehicles that we can tow it back with, so it's fine. Um, I think it might be worth just ordering that bit. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah. But it's going to take ages. Okay. Moment of truth, everyone. See down here? Yeah. There's a spring dangling. A small spring. Yes. No, on the bike, that one. Oh, yeah. Pull it down. How that's it. That's it, you, you did it. Oh, yeah. Safety switch. Oh, yeah. Sit down.
load on it, so it's just going to be turning. But once the wheels are on and it's stopped on the ground, it shouldn't. try it and see if it actually holds enough to move yeah, it. Yeah, because it, it might not... It, it might yeah. just strip straight away. Yeah. But that's so good though that it's moving so like if it did stop with that new bit it would be perfect again. Oh that would fix it. Yeah. Definitely. It's really clean inside. There's nothing really wrong with it. The fuel's leaking a bit when I leave it on but that's because the carbs day, so I'm going to have to clean that. Mm. But I'm a fixer, massive fixer. Massive fixer. I just went to blow up the front tyre and the, the valve snapped off. Oh. <laughs> I think I've got one there. All the other tyres hold air. That one's a bit flat. Quick uh, gypsy bead break. If you ever need to do a tyre, just a couple of bits of wood and you can get it off. I have got a valve, but it's extra long. However, I don't really care at this point, so I'm just going to use it. Sorry, I forgot to uh, turn the camera on, show you how I did that. Pretty much straightforward, anyway, I just pulled it through with grips. I don't have a, a valve puller thing, but this, hopefully this goes on back on the bead with air, with hand power. Piss off. Should do. Side on. Just this bit. Oh, it's on. That's it. Really need <laughs> five PSI. I'll put on the three wheel nuts. <laughs> The back wheel has already got two. I'm going to have to find some more bolts. 
they're on tight enough for a little go up the road though. Famous last words. This is just fantastic though. PC fans as uh, engine coolers. I do admire these Chinese vehicles. They're brave with what they try and get away with. I'll give them that. Okay. So now you're going to go run down the road and get stuck. Probably. And break down. Wait, let me just go. You want to come for the maiden voyage? I think you do. It's going to be a bit wobbly though. Really? Ah. What? There's a disc brake there. Yeah. That's binding. Okay. That's why. Interesting. Probably need to strip it. Master cylinder for the back does these as well. It was way out of adjustment. So this one must just be back brake. I don't know. Let's go for another ride.
that is without a doubt the new favourite thing that we own. Just, yeah, bloody brilliant. I just took it for quite a long, hang on, wait there. Yeah, I just took it for a run all the way around the block. And now it's like buttery smooth. Really nice actually, and it's quiet as well. Oh. <laughs> well worth it. And we're not got smoking brakes anymore. I must have just not put the adjuster back on properly. Because this back lever does the front. It's got double disc. So. Yeah, well happy. Well happy with that. You know we're going camping on this. Look at all the luggage space. 